Okay, example one. The pyramid in the picture has a square base, all right? Here's the pyramid, and if you look at the bottom here, this is a square base. Its lateral faces are triangles that are exact copies of one another, okay? So here's our triangles. We have four of them going all the way around, okay? Find the surface area of the pyramid. So what we're going to do here is, for today, I am only going to model one problem for you because this problem consists of about three, four parts. And then after that, we're going to do um, one another problem for independent practice, and we're done, okay? So... Our first step, I have my formula here. Our first step would be to find the lateral area, which is the area of the four triangles going around. So let's start off with our triangle, step one. Okay, so here's our formula for a triangle. That's what's in the parentheses right here. But I want you to notice that I multiplied it by four. Why do you think I multiplied that by four? Think about that for a second. Why do you think I took the formula for one triangle and multiplied it by four? All right, now I'll tell you, because our pyramid has four sides, okay? We have to acknowledge that our, period, our, our pyramid has four sides. Our pyramid here has four sides, so we're multiplying the formula for a triangle by four. Then second step would be to substitute, as always. Remember our, our steps here, FSS. We'll substitute, then we'll get 4 times the half would give us 2. 6 times 7 would give us 42. And I, and I got 6 times 7, let me show you, from here. Base times height, 6 and 7, okay? 6 times 7 is 42. 2 times 42 is 84. So surface area for our triangles, for the triangles, just the, tri just the four triangles, would be 84 centimeters squared. We're not done yet. Now, step two, we have to find the area of the base. So now that we got the area of our four triangles, we are now going to find the area of our base, okay, the bottom of the pyramid. Okay, here's the area for the bottom of our base, and it's S squared, okay? And once again, you can see FSS throughout the lesson. We're going to now substitute B equals 6 squared. And then we're going to solve, last but not least, B equals 36. Our surface area for our base, our square base, is 36 centimeters squared. Step three, add up the lateral area and the base together to get the surface area. And here we are. So we have 84 for our lateral area, which is the area of all four of our triangles. Then we have 36, sorry. Then we have 36, which is the base of our pyramid, okay, together, sorry. Together, once we add 84 plus 36, we have 120 centimeters squared. So for this pyramid right here, our answer would be 120 centimeters squared. All right, now here's your turn to try one on your own. We did one together, and now you're going to try one on your own. Okay, this pyramid has a square base measuring 10 inches on each side. It has four faces that are congruent, and congruent basically means same length, same measurements. The height of each triangle is 12 inches. Find the surface area of the pyramid. Let me read this one more time. The pyramid, this pyramid has a square base measuring 10 inches on each side. It has four faces that are exactly the same, congruent. The height of each triangle is 12 inches. Find the surface area of the pyramid. So 
Just a few things to keep in mind before you pause this video and try this on your own. FSS, which is um, formula, substitute, and then solve. All right? Keep that in mind. Something else to keep in mind is the actual formula for surface area. And then you have some steps here. Find the lateral area first. Then you find the area of the base. Then you add up the lateral area and the base together to get the surface area. Okay? So pause this video and try it on your own. Go. Okay, let's go over this. Step one. What I, the first thing I did was I found the lateral area. And what I did was I have the formula for a triangle here, half times base time height, multiplied by four because of our four sides. Don't forget, remember, our four sides are congruent, so we can just multiply it by four. They're all the same. And then next, we substitute. 4 times the half, we got 2. 10 times 12, I have 120. Two times 120 equals 240. So our um, surface area for just the sides would be 240 inches squared. Moving on to step 2. Find the area of the base, which is the bottom of the pyramid. Our formula is B equals S squared. So we substitute. We would substitute um, that S for 10 because 10 was our base. 10 was our base. And then when we solve, 10 squared would give us 100. So the surface area for just the bottom of our pyramid is 100 inches squared. Step three, last but not least, we then take the formula for surface area, which equals lateral area plus base. Okay, then we substitute. We have 240 for the lateral area, 100 for the base. And then we solve 240 plus 100 equals 340. So the surface area of this pyramid is 340 inches squared all right we 